First off, just talk to us a little about this council that you, you put together here. Yeah, basically this is the, uh, the statewide advisory council to the governor to uh, deal with the uh, problem of substance abuse in the state of West Virginia. As part of the executive order that I signed uh, a month ago, it created six uh, regional task force to deal with uh, a regional approach to uh, substance abuse in West Virginia. Basically from their findings, their recommendations will come here to the council, they will sort through it, look at those programs that may be working in certain regions of the state, see if we can apply those uh, concepts uh, statewide. They will also be coming with recommendations to me on prevention out there, the treatment of, of uh, substance abuse. Uh, as you can see around the table, it's uh, the, the, the council is made up of a wide array of people everywhere from workforce development because we need them in there because we need to have a good trained workforce that's ready, willing, and able to work in West Virginia. We got people from public information, uh, public education that are there. Uh, obviously, you know, substance abuse uh, plays a big role in our education system in our state, and we need to be able to prevent that with our children, as well as from the parents, you know, giving support to their children out there. Uh, so, you know, that's basically what we're looking at. Uh, we certainly hope that uh, with this group of individuals, like I said, everything from the Supreme Court, from law enforcement, uh, from child protection, uh, child protection agencies uh, to DHHR, they're all involved out there and they're really taking it serious on what we need to do to curb the problem we have with substance abuse in our state. Have uh, the other regional uh, prescription drug task forces met and if so, what are you hearing from <coughs> some of those? The other task forces, they, they had their first meeting uh, last month, they'll be meeting again uh, toward the end of this month around the state and uh, I think they will probably come back after their initial meeting with different thoughts, different ideas, different approaches to how you address this uh, unique problem. One thing you also said up there is that a lot of jobs, Nicole Manning jobs, it could be taken away instantly if people were able to pass your records. Just talk a little bit about that statistic you're talking about. Absolutely. I've heard that uh, statewide also. Uh, the one I qu uh, quoted up there was from the coal industry that tells me that there's seven, between 700 and 1,000 coal mining jobs right now that could be filled today if they could find people who could pass the drug test. So it's not only in the coal industry out there, it's in manufacturing and other areas uh, out there that just uh, trying to find people you know, who are, are capable and, and can pass drug tests in, in the state of West Virginia. Sounds like you're working with other states, neighboring states as well. Absolutely. We have a lot of uh, problems with doctor shopping because of the unique uh, borders that we have around West Virginia. And uh, so we've come together with uh, the other states uh, trying to share information so that uh, uh, physicians on one side of the line will know if you're being treated or, or uh, being prescribed in another state for the same kind of uh, prescription they're wanting. In, in that different state. So, uh, you know, we are working on a regional basis among the states out there trying to uh, help each other to curb the problem. And, and it's not only a West Virginia problem, it's, it's a problem nationwide, but especially here in Appalachia, we have a, a, a probably a higher concentration of the abuse than most parts of the country. And that definitely helps having all these other states come together with you guys. Easier for you guys to fight it and just fight it by yourself. Absolutely. Well, you can't fight it by yourself. If you can't exchange that information and, and uh, back and forth across state lines, it makes it difficult to prevent, especially uh, prescription drug abuse. What's our timeline here with uh, this council and how it's going? I would certainly hope the council could come with uh, recommendations for any kind of legislative changes uh, by mid to uh, late de December so we could uh, uh, get bills drafted if we need to and get up before the legislature. So uh, it's, a, it's a pretty aggressive uh, uh, timetable they're working on. However, I would anticipate this council's work continuing even uh, into next year uh, because I don't think that, uh, you know, what little time that we have to work on it uh, can solve the problem. But I think uh, if we can just save one life in West Virginia, it's worth it.